Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Mixed by Adi, Mixed by Adi dot Vision. Uh, we're gonna go further into the console concept. Um, that's a video that I created that teaches you how to turn your DAW or treat your DAW rather like a console. Today, we're going to uh, go into another part of how I mix fast, and that's by using Mixbus processing. So, Mixbus processing is basically how it sounds. We're going to process the mix bus and the mix bus is going to be where all of your tracks are routed to. So uh, if you're using the master fader, it's gonna be the master fader. I like to set up a sub mix and, and it is the same as the master fader. However, the only difference is if I'm using fade out, um, I would want to use the sub mix because the sub mix acts as any other track in your DAW, it's going to be a pre-fader thing. So the fader move that you use to fade out is not going to affect the processing. And that's what happens on the master. So the mastering, the fader does affect the levels going into the plugins. So that's the only difference. Otherwise, it doesn't matter if you set up a sub mix or a master fader, these concepts will work. As far as mix bus processing, I like to do this part first before I do anything. Um, and the only thing that comes before this is the leveling. So I like to get the sound that I want. And then from there, the first plugins that I'll use is actually from the mix bus. Uh, the mix bus, I have this NLS bus, which is basically the bus sum, the summing bus um, emulating the master section of the SSL console. All of this is subtle, but it adds a non-linear cohesive sound to this. And it takes your mix from sounding digital to sounding more like uh, analog uh, records, okay? Like your favorite records that you hear these days. I then have the bus compressor. I like to use this bus compressor to get my levels that I want. And then I use this to basically glue the mix. This is emulating the bus compressor that sits right in the master section of right in the master section of these uh ssl consoles okay then i have two pieces of outboard gear on the mix bus and that's going to be the pull tech emulation so i have the waves puig tech by jack joseph puig collection and this is basically just a two band uh equalizer it sounds very musical so i use it on my mastering bus um to bring out some of the highs and the, I bring out the highs uh to get more clarity and openness of the track of the record and then I boost the lows because I'm a low end guy I love bass this would be the same as if I was taking the final mix out of the console into the pull the pull tech EQ which again you're looking at 5 to 10,000 dollars worth of hardware this is outboard gear that we're routing to at this point Okay, last but not least, we're emulating routing through a two track tape. And this would be the final stage of the mixing process. As you can see, I have no other plugin of, uh, after the Kramer tape. And that's what I'm using, the Kramer master tape. And I'm emulating um, the master. I have the mastering clean and open preset. So I have a little bit of that warmth and that vibe in the wow and flutter and we have a little bit of the uh the warmth coming from the flux but i'm driving it just a little bit to keep the definition of what we did or what i would do with the uh pull tech all that means is if i drive this a little bit harder it's just going to add a lot more saturation okay so i use this to taste but the only thing I change about this preset is that I turn off the noise uh, because, you know, I could do without much of the noise. Um, and I bypass this because there is some of that noise coming through. I know that would probably like mess with a lot of people. But regardless, the concept is to treat your DAW like a console. OK, and that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, this is part of my seven concepts of efficient mixing workflow. And just for stopping by, this is yours. It's yours. All you got to do is go to the link in the description below and grab it. 
In addition, I'm giving this template away for free just as an added thank you and an added bonus. Uh, be sure to grab both of those on your way out. And like I said, if you haven't checked out the console concept video, please do check that out. I think you're going to get some great information from it. But that's going to do it for this video. Until next time, thanks for watching. Peace that out i think you're going to get some great information from it but that's going to do it for this video until next time thanks for watching peace